Hello everyone, it's Dr. Neze here with Easy Living MD. Hope y'all are having a wonderful Friday, okay? And I wanted to talk about some of the things that actually sabotage not just your health, your healing process, your weight loss process, your anti-aging and aging well process, I mean everything. And I know I bring it up over and over again, but it is detox, toxins and detox. Forget the fact that toxins cause like over 80% of chronic diseases. Forget the fact that toxins are everywhere in the society like it wasn't when our great grandparents were here. Okay, it's in the air, in the food, in the water. I mean, it's everywhere. And people have this notion that our bodies, with the way it was initially programmed, can take care of all of that. No, it's overloaded. And that's why we have tools, we have herbs, we have other different types of combinations and things we can do to actually help us. That knowledge and wisdom is being given to us to help us work with the extreme issues that we as humanity have created already. So there are solutions. But my point of bringing this up is your body, think about like a kitchen and you're cooking and the trash is constantly staying in there because you're just you're just busy you don't have time to take the trash out so you keep piling it up it's rottening parasites all this stuff growing in there it's a mess and then you start not feeling right right this is your body and it's not feeling right and you decide you know what this is a mess what am i going to do you don't take the trash out what you do is you go out there and you start putting the air fresheners putting in the essential oils Try to bring in nice smelling food to mix with all the other stuff in there. What do you think is going to happen? Is that really efficient? Firstly, you're not gonna be able to make and produce food in that kitchen like you're supposed to. Your body isn't gonna work the way it's supposed to. Everything's clogged up with trash. And then you're gonna have so many side effects because the toxins are in there and you're taking in new stuff and then all the messaging is all scrambled. So you get more side effects. Most of the time, it's not even gonna work. You say, I don't know why that's not working for me. And then it takes a long time to heal. And then the body is constantly working and breaking down with all the stuff it's being overloaded with. Of course you're going to age faster. Of course you're gonna develop chronic diseases, okay? And let's talk about another day for how people don't focus on the main thing. They're just distracted with what they're trying to work on. All the side effects from the toxins versus actually looking at the main cause for another day. Now let's say that's what's going on with you. 99% of the time, you need to detox. And I don't mean detox once a month, once every three months, once every six months, or once a year. It doesn't work that way. This is what society has put into us that's not natural for us with the way things are happening. It's the same way we work, 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 take a vacation. Work, 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 burn out, take a vacation. Not natural, folks. What you wanna do is work a little, take a break, work a little, take a break, and then you can keep going and look nice and beautiful, hello, <laughs> okay? It's the same thing with detox. Firstly, if you haven't done any major cellular detox, okay, for your body and your organs, you would have to do quite a bit initially. But after that, detoxing should be an everyday thing. What are some of the everyday things you can do? Drinking lots of water, maybe your liver's clogged and you're having hormone issues and acne issues, you're not sleeping well at night, liver drink some dandelion tea every morning for like a week and then go back to drinking water you, and but the thing is you have to understand what's going on in your body what organs tend to manifest these issues once they come up especially if they're loaded with toxins that you need to deal so you need to understand yourself okay but my main point today is letting people understand why that is one of the number one ways you're sabotaging any of your health and wellness goals like even for your even for your mental clarity, this is important, okay? And so when people come to me and I'm telling them the first thing they need to do is they're like, oh, but I just had heartburn. Yes, you need to detox. Oh, my blood pressure. Yes, you need to detox. When I'm always tired. Yes, you need to detox when you're always tired. Yes, you do because I will be chasing all these minor symptoms when I can clean out the body and then see clearly. Well more than 80% of the time when people detox, you can ask my patients, they feel better, okay? And then maybe nothing else needs to be done other than you maintaining whatever plan I put you on, okay? But then once you clean out and you detox, you can clearly see what area 
needs work and needs help. And then you can focus in on it and say, okay, you know what? We've cleaned out and this and this is still having an issue. Now we know it's the gut that's causing this issue with the nausea. It's the gut causing issues with sleep, with anxiety. You know what? It's actually your adrenals that are doing that. Oh, no, you know what? Your metabolism is low because of your thyroid. No, your metabolism is an issue because your body's not moving. The lymphatic system is, is, is slow down. We can see that after we've cleaned out, okay? And so that's why I wanted to talk about that today. And this applies even on a mental, emotional, and spiritual level. People come here, we have a higher purpose, we have goals that will actually fulfill what we need to fulfill in our heart and get us feeling content and fulfilled, but we get distracted with so, much, so many things that we need to clean out the clutter in our heads. You know, we're either chasing somebody because, you know, we want to look so good in society for whatever reason, and we start accumulating material things and titles and like, oh, look at what I've accomplished in a contentment and fulfillment, okay? Or we start, um, let's say, <clears throat> you see somebody else doing really well and you want to do better, so that's your new goal. That's a distraction. Or you're so busy, caught up about things in the past that you haven't forgiven people for. And every time somebody's repeating that pattern, you're so caught up with that, you can't even move forward. So you're busy chasing all these squirrels, creating new karmic cycles for yourself, and getting so burnt out and tired because you're distracted and you need to detox all of those things too. Okay? So they all come in line together. Anyway, that was my thing today. And there was a video which I will share and he was talking about getting rid of the distractions. I am like, F the distraction, focus on the main goal. Hello, that's my thing for uh, Friday. You need to recognize what that is. And the reason why it would be very helpful for you to work with me is because I identified those issues specifically for you. Because everyone's different. Everybody's different. One person's act of kindness from the bottom of their heart could be boosting them. Another person's act of kindness, which is just because they want to look good, is actually draining their life force because it's not coming from here. So it's not just the act, it's what's going on here. That's when that whole intuitive um, energetic reading comes into place. Anyway, I'm here. When you have a wonderful Friday, the distractions, okay, and focus on the main goal. And remember, Detox. Don't sabotage yourself. Come see me. Happy Friday. Dr. Nezio. Oh, yes. And I forgot to mention on my next session, I'll be talking about the top three things that you can do on your own to help you with detoxing. Top three things that you can do. They all have their own little minutia things going on. But so stay tuned for the next time I come on and I'll highlight those three things for you. Okay. Ashe.